this is, you know, this is my signature type of makeup. I don't like eyes. It's always lips, 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 and highlighter. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Azinne Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys. So I'm starting off this video by saying a very big happy birthday to Coco. She is an ex Big Brother Niger housemate. She went to I think the Double Wahala season. Um, she was. She's okay. Yeah, she's actually one of the people that was disqualified from the show and later brought back yeah so um happy birthday to her also hey hey one of my crushes see at this one i've been crushing on him for like years i am shamelessly announcing it yes so um whiskey he is about to drop the like his most anticipated album made in lagos by 11 minutes past what am I saying? By 11 p.m. Nigerian time. That is obviously West African time. So he's going to be releasing his album. Wow. He's been postponing and postponing and postponing this album. I can't wait to get my hands on it and to actually listen to it. To those of you that are asking me how many crushes I have, this is my answer to you. <laughs> You don't know. You don't know why it's going on. <laughs> okay, so now you have heard my reply to you. Let us move on. So, guys, um, before I get into the J's, because there are plenty hot J's, I'm going to be doing real Proco today. It's been a while since I did a Proco, you know, in its finest form, but I'm going to be doing it again tonight. Um, before we get into all that, how would you like to actually see me on your screen, not just my voice? me on your screen talking about not celebrities not just not gossips but about me about you giving you guys vlogs about what i do my life in general get candid with all of you um no lies no pretending me isn't it in its finest and raw form how would you like that of course we can't i can't do it on this channel that means i've got to open another channel if you are cool with that idea let me know in the comment section or maybe i should do a poll in my community post let's see if whichever one you guys decide if you want me to start up a channel like that where you get to know me for me um or if you don't want me to do that i will we'll get to decide in the community post but for now let's get into the gist i just decided to give you guys a hint because i was thinking about it okay so um let's start with lecon so lecon will be having his abuja tour um he's actually in abuja at the moment yes he landed in abuja so all the abuja peeps you know if you want to see lecon you know what i do um this is one of the flyers so i think you can just call any of these numbers here to be actually to be there or to know where he will be in abuja okay guys so moving on also erica and kid wire were sported last night having dinner here in abuja yes and i also heard that both of them went to magic land is it magic land that they call that place it's been a while since i've been there and both of them were sported there also and erica was sported wearing kid wire's hoodie if you see this hoodie you will know it belongs to kid wire wahala for who no girl boyfriend will go give him him hoodie abby my pigeon english is so whack i beg forgive me moving on so our dear brother in the lord sir leo da silva if you don't know leo i think what they call it what did they used to call him then um breath of fresh air okay leo is an ex big brother niger housemate he went for the same um double wahala um he was affiliated romantically with alex but when he came out it's as if it didn't work out it didn't work out so it was as if alex went with toby and cc went with leo yeah you remember that whole scandal so leo was not spending a lot of time with cc and there are a lot of people started saying that leo was um dating cc even leo's sister um uh, was making clothes for cc at that time so i just wanted to give you guys a background of that so leo went ahead to give us unsolicited information that we did not even care about he now said 
um, I'm not going to lose my virginity till marriage. The drama that comes with sex is clearly too much. Oh, God, we do not ask you. We do not ask you. Um, how would you know if there's drama that comes with it? Seriously, but we did not ask you. But anyways, thank you for that information. At least it will help us mark you or tick you as a husband material because that is what we ladies, we too are looking for husband material. Okay, so moving on. Another wahala for who no get brother in the law that will be calling him boo boo. <laughs> did I say just say that? So, um, okay, let me give you digits. So, Prince. Um, this is about Prince and Dorothy. So Prince was at Silverbird Television today in the morning. And while he was there, Dorothy captured his clip talking about um, whatever it is he was talking about. And she put it on her story. And she, this is her caption. She said, proud sister. Then she put the clapping emoji. She now tagged him and now said, well done, boo-boo. Hmm. <laughs> ah, I have an elder brother and I have a younger brother, but in no occasion have I called any of them boo boo. <laughs> boo boo. <laughs> Anyways, Prince reposted it on his own Instagram story. What zone do we call this? Proud sister boo boo zone? Because I don't understand. Let me know what you think about these two people in the comment section. Okay, now, so yesterday i did a story about your um the ultimate love winners rosie and kachi so um just yesterday after the story broke and everybody was like what is going on they decided to post a video but before i will show you guys that video let me um also address something so i told you guys a lot of people were also saying because of the timing of the tweet of ike reza that is ike and teresa a lot of people were thinking that oh maybe they were actually rejoicing because the relationship with Rox, uh, that's roxy that's rosie and kachi did not work out now um ike took to his instagram page to answer this question when somebody asked him why did it look like you are happy that Roxy got destroyed if if not clarify here please so he now said I like to clarify that I did not I do not derive pleasure in seeing other people hurt absolutely not in my character it's why it's absurd when people call my relationship out for the wrong reasons especially when one relationship on the same show I was on goes down so it's okay to let haters know that they can watch you flourish Rosie is my friend she's always been and nothing is wrong with her relationship unless she comes out and says otherwise so people should stop assuming and speculating and just chill out love and light so i guess that answers it he basically answered the whole question that was in people's mind because um the whole um tweet that he and teresa was were putting out at that time um kind of like made people feel like okay maybe they were actually happy that that relationship crashed so like i said rosie and kachi released this video i'm gonna put the video for you guys to see for yourselves then after that i'm gonna come back with another gist and possibly maybe talk about it because uh, this is their relationship will highlight too much for me i beg but after that, we'll definitely come back and talk about something else. The real Aproko will now begin. Are you in? In the spirit. See Raga Bush. <laughs> Baby. I'm serious. Baby. I'm celebrating in anticipation of more millions. I know you're serious, but why are you not making fun out of it? No, when I say you should say Raga Bush. You why should, should I say Raga Bush? Is that how I do that? I say <sighs> Lean on me, baby. Me too. I have my own. When okay guys so you've seen that video let me know what you think about it for me i feel it's more like damage control but whichever one it is let me know what you think about it in the comment section now let's move on to the main gist now it's about um former nollywood sweetheart desmond elliott yes he's been trending today on twitter and not for the good reasons so apparently um this started like was it yesterday or the day before yesterday so somebody came him and tweeted on social media on twitter that um called him out for trying to stifle the voice of the nigerian youth um by trying to regulate social media and twitter or maybe even remove twitter or something or so and he, um he came out he denied it and all that so today a video surfaced where 
he was actually doing what he was accused of and even more um more like vilifying the nigerian youth and making nigerian youth look as if even calling out his fellow celebrities and all that which was not good sorry i cannot put that video here but it's in lots of blogs even on twitter the video is there so um because of all this he was being dragged they dragged him the way they were dragging him had they been it's a physical dragon trust me he would have been bald by now so they've been dragging him to his house i'm telling you i kid you not so um a lot of celebrities also joined their voices to drag him a lot of them expressed their disappointments i'm gonna read some of their tweets but before then or yeah let me read the tweets first then i'm gonna give you guys the real apropo because while all this was going on another blog decided to open his own cans of worms you know what they say he that lives in a glass house should not throw stones especially when you have your own skeletons in your cupboard sometimes you have to be guided what you say so let me read some of the reaction of his fellow celebrities when they saw that video um of the things he was saying and mind you he is now a politician so yeah so this tweet is from don jazzy and he expressed his disappointment he called desmond and he put the emoji of kind of like he's disappointed and all that now this is coming from peruzzi and peruzzi said desmond is a very silly and okay stupid boy a big shame techno official said desmond <laughs> <laughs> ah, read it for yourself, I beg. Then Zaltan or Zlatan came out and said, You know, if be politician, make devil no borrow your sense, use once in a while. This one is carrot. <laughs> So um this is DJ Neptune. DJ Neptune, Neptune said that's more Missy. Oh sorry, that's more Elliot. Who is your supplier? You don't buy big market, so he actually buy bought big market. I'm telling you. Now this is from one of my favorite actresses, Lala Akindoju. And she said Honestly, I'm more than disappointed in Desmond Elliott. I'm so shocked. Anyway, we have been praying that God should expose the real state of our mi the minds of our leaders. Now we know how he really processes things. I pray the people he looks forward to representing in 2023 remember today. Now, another another set of people that had things to say are likes of skills as as care that is um, one of davido's i think davido's manager also and even dremel and so this is what um scale says he said there's one elliot though can't trust anyone in politics kai he fall my hand so as as i said that's more Elliot, you fall my hand, though, bros, now, wow. And this one says, that's more Elliot, you are cancelled. Now, um, I'm still going to read this one from Davido. And Davido said, that's more Elliot just destroyed all the precious childhood memories he gave us in movies. I'm telling you, that's so, so true. Another person that has something to say is Uche Jumbo, a fellow actress. And she said, the same social media, they used to package themselves into power. And, yeah. Simi said... Cousin Desmond should have used the same energy to fight for us. Now he's collecting money. We are children. Then she now claps for him. You can see it's not about age. You can be 22 years old and wicked. Celebrities, yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't vote for celeb celebrities. They voted for you, sir. Um, so, yeah. There's lots and lots of reactions, even from his fellow celebrity friends. So, moving on. Like I said, while all this was going on, a blog one of the most i don't know what to call that blog <laughs> i don't know if it's a man or a woman that is behind the blog anyways because we really don't know who is behind the blog Gis lovers blog had this to talk about the, in fact she decided or he decided to open the cans of worms so apparently <clears throat> our oga our baby boy for life that's more Elliot has been fellowshipping outside the confines of his marital, you know, marital environment. So it's being said, according to Just Lover's blog, hmm, that our Oga Desmo Elliot ha, has been fellowshipping with actress Sophia, a lucky just elder sister. Mm hmm and she also said that because of that you know fellowshipping and the whole interaction that a child came out of it but 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 hold on 
the wife does not know about this or do you want me to read okay let me just read it said this month she be this is what you are using sulere constituency money to do you are married yet you're wondering what i won't rest this beautiful lady here is sophia alakija's elder sister if not that she sounds polite i for drag them along and show what what people her handle but i won't do that you let your marriage go find go give fine woman belle she born fine picking i'm not sure your wife is aware self man that can't stay faithful to his wife how that how that own go take day loyal to the youth i have gone to her dm so she can call you and talk some sense into you before proper dragging begins if proper dragging begins not today today not today you go regulate that social media she sounds pleasant she will be spared i come in peace then she now wrote this Ige a wedu what 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 so this is not all another blogger who is also famous for you know washing people's dirty linens outside cutie jails i love her so decided to also come out with another angle apparently this our ogre was not just eating nigerian jollof he also went international and decided to eat some ghana jollof i mean this ogre is the reason we have jollof wars going on between ghana and nigeria how will you want to be eating both nigerian jollof and ghana jollof which one will you add tomorrow senegalese jollof anyways this is what she said she said <clears throat> I'm really sorry for myself for allowing that Desmond Elliot what Desmond Elliot said shock me. The way he still went ahead to continue eating his Ghana jollof even after his wife has caught him red-handed and even warned Lydia, the jollof owner, is enough to tell me that it's no surprise that it's very normal for such a man to actually stand in the House of Assembly to say that um, the whole damn still no bad stuff is enough to okay, um, okay so it's quite long so basically what she is saying is that our uncle is also eating some ghana jollof and who is this ghana jollof behold the picture for you guys it's really for me it's um surprising because this is one lady i love and i still love her god bless her this ghana jollof she's a really fine ghana jollof but we don't really have any issues with her now do we the gist is about our uncle that wants us to be out of social media you want to put out us off job are you serious are you serious anyway people of god let me know what you think about this whole ghana jollof nigerian jollof because this fellowship in sin it looks like it has it's no longer cross country it is now cross africa you know cross international border let me know what you think about this and the whole desmond elliott saga that is going on right now if you've seen that video let me know what you think if you um what what are your reactions if you're not in nigeria maybe you might not be conversant with what's going on but you can actually go on twitter the trend it's really really trending and let me know what you think about all this in the comment section so guys that's it from me thank you so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your girl azina williams have yourselves a beautiful day bye guys